What's up, guys? John here. What's up, guys? It's Big Drew. It's Friday, and it's Titan Lifestyle once again, live every Friday at 2 p.m. I'm here with John. We got a lot of great topics, and as always, the Therapy Week, Titan Events, and Q&A. Plus, it's Super Bowl edition. Yes. Big game this Sunday. Huge game this Sunday, right in our backyard, Tampa. Oh, yeah. The, the city's getting crazy. You know, I live... I live downtown, so it's getting crazy. It's taking forever to get everywhere, but I can't complain because it's the Super Bowl. Right? Any other time, I'd be mad, but it's it's getting pretty crazy down there. Plus, it's yeah. helping our Florida economy out. Everybody yeah. coming down. Yeah. You know, we're doing some things here, so God bless. What's up, guys? How you guys doing, Victor? Ka? How you doing? Big Irishman in the house. Louie, what's going on? My man, this dude's a chef. I can't wait to see the new restaurant. Nice. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Big Irish, man. Shout out to you, too. I saw the last couple posts you did. You got, yeah. You're doing a great job on your post, man. Yeah. Mix that really, really good. Jaw Keys, Wolf Jim, Raw Jr., the Dan Daniel. What's going on? KTS. What's up, guys? Thank you guys for joining us. It's it's yeah. uh it's like I said it's gonna be a good weekend all the way around Super yeah. Bowl Sunday is yeah. coming up. Also, let us know where you guys are calling in or texting in from. It's always good to go and where you guys are at. Yeah, you know we're here in Florida, but it's just good to know where everybody's calling from. DMK, what's going on? What's up, Prince? Victor, what's going on, man? Tony Jam. So for this Sunday, if you guys don't know who's playing, we're doing what? Tampa Bay versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah. So it's gonna be a good game. Kansas City won last year. Yep. This and year, Tom Brady came to Tampa, took over, and brought him all the way back. I thought it would be man. impossible, but he did it. Man, he oh, literally man. did the impossible. What's crazy to me is, you know, I've always been a Tom Brady fan. I'm from Massachusetts, so I'm not really like. I mean, I'm a Bucks fan now, yeah. But I've been a diehard Brady fan. The crazy thing is now, all the people that said we don't like Brady, he cheats. Yeah, he's cocky. Now they're wearing the TV twelve jerseys. <laughs> Go Brady! No one's cheating now. You know he's he's the goat. So yes. it is what it is. Yes. Yeah. All right, big Irishman said, well, "Thanks, Big Drew and Big Boss can help, can help me where I can." We appreciate you, man. Yeah. Be killing out those desert workouts too. Is out in New Mexico. Oh, I didn't know where he's at. Yeah, New Mexico kills it out there. I've been watching, yeah, man. Yeah. I'm always watching. How, how the clothes fit? Yeah, so clothes I, said, fit. I said some, some pants. Yeah, so I got some, some joggers, uh, yeah. some shirts. Yeah. So hopefully they fit good. Nice. I think I sent him one of these. I, uh, as a matter of fact, I think I sent you the red and black one. Yeah, he got the good stuff. I saw I, the pictures. I, I saw the video. You know, I, I, yeah. uh, I'm wearing the red and black today because, you know, obviously for the Buccaneers. Yeah. I'm a Chicago Bears fan by heart. Lived there for 21 years in my first part of my life. And then this other 20 years been down here. So mm. I got to support them, especially yeah. with Tom Brady. Yeah, this, this guy's... Yeah. He's, he's ridiculous. And they say he's going to play upwards of 45. Hey. So, I mean... Hey. At his position, too, I could see if he was a kicker yeah. or maybe like a placeholder or a yeah. long snapper. Yeah. But to be a quarterback taking that pounding, yep. and he could be blindsided any day. A guy's my size running at him is taking him out. So oh, it's yeah. crazy that he's still doing it. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's just, uh, you know, he's, he's defying age, and this is what goes into prevent, preventative, yeah. you know, like him taking care of himself because, I mean, he yeah. spends a lot of money and stuff like that. I know. But Mahomes, I mean, this guy's this guy's the you know he's the new 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 blood pretty yeah. much. I mean, yeah, he's been rocking and rolling, kicking butt too. I mean, it's just uh, it's gonna be a good game, man. So it's I'm gonna, excited. Yeah, it's gonna be a sea of red. I know the Buccaneers are wearing their white jerseys. Yep. Uh, but the K, K, you know, Kansas City has red too. So I've seen red everywhere. Yep. If you're if you're driving from a far distance, you don't know if it's KC jersey or Buccaneers jersey until you get closer because it's red. It's true. But it's it's crazy. I know the I know the KFC uh the KFC the Kansas KFC Kansas City Chiefs are staying at the Hilton downtown. Yep. So every time you drive by, there's cops everywhere. It's crazy. There's people waiting for pictures. Wow. It's like wow. It's like paparazzi like crazy. What's up, Kelly? How you doing, Tom? How you doing? So. Mitten Patel, DMK, he said, how do I get some of the good swag? It's not offered on the website. So stuff comes in as it does. Um, we only get so much of some of the things, like Nike stuff or whatever it is. But if you see something, you're like, hey, listen, just shoot us a text or whatever. I'm like, do you guys have any of those in? And what about like a giveaway challenge? Yeah. People post certain stuff or do certain stuff. Maybe we can come up with something. We'll give them like a good shirt or something. Like, yeah. Hey, I mean, I don't you got to work for it. In other words, you got to work for it. I don't mind. So, I mean, we, we do sell. We'll yeah. sell the Nikes and stuff like that as we yeah. get in. I literally just got some Nike tank tops, nice. some blue ones. Nice. Drew's got to get his new one. I got him some pants. Nice. But there's some other stuff out there. So I'll, I'll, I'll take some pictures and, uh, 
If you guys want some of that stuff, just let, let us know. We yeah, got all kinds of stuff, though. Yeah, the stuff lasts, too, guys. It's not like the cheap, just... A lot of companies, they'll make clothes just to promote their brand, but they're not concerned with the quality of the material. That's they're right. just like, as long as it looks good, temporarily. Yeah. This stuff lasts, guys. I work out in, I work out at grungy gyms. I sweat in it. Yeah. It's been washed. It's been torn up. Not you yeah. know, literally torn up. But pretty much beat up. All my stuff is still good to go, guys. Absolutely, oh. absolutely. We gotta get some more stuff. I think yeah. I, I got those uh, those camouflage pants for you. Oh yeah, camels are always. Good. Good. I got camels some tight stuff good. coming for us, guys. Nice. The girls and guys. I made sure that the, the lightweight hoodies are coming. Nice. They're getting printed right now. So yeah, I got black the lightweight ones, pants on. Ones. These are real nice. I can't thin, wait. Thin. Uh, I can't wait. All Tighten right. every day. All day. Every day. So, yeah, so Brady, yeah, so you can love him or hate him, man. The guy has got talent like you've never seen before. Wow, nice. Awesome. Can I do Nangelo with the BBC? Need help, bro, getting older. So, what all right. What does your doctor say first? Yeah, yeah. Medical so provider. If, if, you're, if you're getting Nangelo from a medical provider, you want to look at it. But let's look at, you know, let's look at these two things. So, Nangelo is a Nor-19, right? That's the compound it is. Now, what does it do and how does it help joint lubrication? Because it does help shoulders temporarily, right? But it helps in lubrication, so it's it's really water that's in there lubricating those areas. That's why it's only short term. So if you do take it, it can help temporarily. Where BBC one five seven is going to help, and it's going to really try to help, like really repair the, the issue that's going on, not just put a bandaid over a bleeding wound because that's kind of what it is. You're, yeah, like the um, the Nandrolon. If you guys don't know, Deca is what he's referring to when yeah. he says Nandrolone. Nandrolone is just like the you know the the, the actual compound. Yep. Deca is like Deca Durable, and so if you guys are familiar with Deca, yep. it's the same thing as Nandrolone. All it does is just put fluid in the joints. Yep. So it basically just puts water and fluid around your ligaments and connective tissue, yep. so you don't feel anything. But what happens is when that water goes away, the pain comes back. Absolutely. The BPC one five seven is actually going to strengthen the ligaments and connective tissue, so you don't have to have that fluid there. Yep. But it does help a little bit with the pain, but you got to oh, be careful because sure. it's kind of like a cortisone shot. Yeah. Once it wears off, it's going to be like, yeah. you don't know what kind of damage you're doing yeah. until that goes away. Like Plus, that. when you start messing with like Nord 19s, like, like Nandrolone or Decadurabone, um, you know, you risk the, the chance of having libido issues. Mm. You know, like they, they yeah. call it, it's decadic is what they call it, you know, yeah. and that's, you know, that's when it's just overpowering it's, at that point. That's usually pro prolactin, your progesterone going so high. Yep, progesterone Yeah, your progesterone goes too, high. Man. So a lot of times people take deca and they get, you know, sensitive nipples. They think it's yep. an estrogen, yep. so they do take more anastrozole, more tamoxifen, <laughs> and they don't realize it's progesterone. The progesterone's yep. going up. We need a, a totally different compound like cable go line, dots, and next promise, something like that. Yep. So yep. Yep. You have to, a lot of issues to work with, a lot of issues. Just take the BP7. You don't have to. Yeah. BBC, BBC is definitely going to be BBC, the way to go. Don't have to worry about I'd mix it with a TB500 and, and call it a day as far yeah. as that goes. Yeah. Uh, you'll get a lot better results, I think, and it'll actually take away from the inflammation. So, I, even BBC right now, uh, you know, it was a therapy of the week. I posted about it twice on, on the page of Titan and one today specifically about myself. Mm. And because I have the slap tear, now what I've been doing is doing a, a, a higher amount um, just to see, listen, can I really repair this thing? And yeah. my shoulder, I don't want to knock on wood and I don't want to. But mm. it's been pretty good, like yeah. lifting wise. Like before, I, I couldn't push that plate, Drew. And like now, I'm, like, I'm up to 80s on, on the dumbbells. I'm like, all right. Are you going straight up with it, wait? So I'm, I'm going like. Like an incline? Uh, yeah. Not an incline. So I'm, it is, it's more of a flat yeah, bench type yeah. deal. I'm doing flat bench and then I'm yeah. doing decline. So the way that my body structure is, is if I start doing incline, I, I guess the way my. my my tissue is is mm. the connecting part. Right. It puts more strain on my shoulder, mm. so it's no good. I guess. See, the reason why is because the bar you have to hold the bar from falling down. Yeah. Where the as if you're flat, you could you're just yeah. you're just holding you just yep. going to incline. You have to so that that rotation right there. Oh, and yeah. another thing is I don't like when I I feel pain on my shoulders when I incline or when I shoulder press, but I have yeah. to like warm up. Like yeah. I have to do literally do 200 reps before I put weight on. Wow. So I'll take like the 25 pound dumbbells. And I'll just do like four sets yeah. of fifty. Get yep. the blood, get it full of blood. Yep. Just like what he was saying with the nandrolone, fill yep. everything with the with the fluid. Yep. Fill everything with the blood before you go to the heavy weight. It helps a lot with the pain. But Absolutely. I know when I go straight up, that's when I feel it. Like straight up in the air. Absolutely. I feel it a lot. Kelly, yeah, so we have those joggers. We have a lot of those joggers, and I got more new joggers coming in just like that. They're gonna have team tight on the side, so they're great for husbands, good boyfriends, leggings too. Girls. We, got the, 
we got like the uh, the new uh, snakeskin leggings oh, too. Oh yeah, those have been those have been yeah. seriously they've been yeah. very popular. It's like a snakeskin print, gray and, and white, and then yep. the top sports bra to go with it. Yep. has like the the wide mesh X back. Looks yep. real good. They look great. It's good to show off the back. Victor, just go to TitanMedicalCenter.com. There's the the clothing section. We have all kinds of clothing there, or you might see something on there. What's going on, Linda? How you doing, Cap- Caporo? How you doing, Relator? Blacha, you're welcome. BBC will last longer. Appreciate you guys. No problem, man. We appreciate you guys answering the questions. Manuela, how you doing? Benjamin, what's up? Did you bra? Our man, strength addicts, what's going on? David, fitness coach. All right, Mr. Rice and Rab. So, talked about BBC. So, BBC is good for joints, ligaments, tendons, muscles, muscle tears. Um, it's good for connective tissue, like Drew was saying, inflammation, arthritis. You know, that's another good one. I yeah, mean. so people at a computer all day long typing like carpal tunnel and stuff yep. like that will help with that too. Absolutely. It's not just about heavy lifting big guys and no, muscles. No. It helps repair other stuff too. Absolutely. Yeah. So where does BBC7 come from? BBC157 comes from gastric juices. That's where it's derived from. Um, so it, it's good for other things too like ulcers, IBS, like these different things that you could be having wrong in the gut. Right. Um, that's another big one. And when you do BBC-157, I always get the question, you know, what do I inject it? How do I do it? So you want to inject it closest to the area of the injury or of uh, the surgery. So uh, example is Cody Mannix, who's Titan, right? He had a back surgery, and he had to recover from this back surgery. So I helped him out. We gave him some BBC-157, and he asked me where to do it. I go, do not inject it <laughs> into, like, where the cut's at. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. No. I was like, don't put it so close. We're, mm. we're so sensitive, but mm. close enough to where it's going to help you. And, and literally a week, man, I seen the picture. I was like, oh, cow, holy cow. It was yeah, really, yeah. really good. I know when I had elbow issues, I would put mine here because yeah. the pain was back here. So I would just find like a, a soft spot like right here and just put it in there. Yep. And it, it's painless, like literally painless. Absolutely. It's not like you're putting a 21 gauge. I spoke to a guy the other day on, on TV, uh, on TV, on it was Facebook. Yep. And he was saying something about um, his old place he went to. They gave him 21 gauge one inch needles oh and he did a god. quad injection he said he couldn't walk for a couple weeks oh my god i was like first of all if you're going your quad you're probably going through your band which is oh, going to give yeah. you pain and at 21 gauge is like a number oh. two pencil <laughs> that's like a number two pencil he put lol i was like yeah no, hercules Harpoon. potion is a 30 gauge half inch like the size of an earring back and it's even thinner than an earring yeah you don't feel anything and it's water based yes a lot of times you guys you're feeling that oil sit in the muscles not deep enough yeah. never have that problem hurting because as soon as you put it in there it's water like yep. it literally as soon as you you don't even have to push on it, it just goes right away yeah smooths out all right so raw jr you bbc 157 if you have injuries and stuff like that block tb 500 info please all right so tb 500 is really similar to bpc 157 it's not derived from the gastric juices in the stomach, though. It comes from the thalamus gland. Um, it's uh, you know it's another peptide, and the way that it works. So it does help as far as bringing blood to the injured area and increasing that blood flow to the, the area. Um, it can be good for a number of other things too, like joints and ligaments too, as well. Um, when you talk about TB five hundred. The good thing about it is, is it can work systemically through the body. So you can inject it pretty much anywhere, and it's going to work its way through the body and, and work well. Now, obviously, the closer you do it, the faster you can get to the area, and probably the better it's going to work. Right. But unlike BBC, it can work systemically, which is really, really cool. Um, that's that's basically it. I mean, it's going to help with recovery. It's going to help with bringing blood flow to the injured areas um, and take inflammation away, too, as well. And you want to work with those two together. They'll work very well. Yeah, that's like the peanut butter and jelly right there. Yeah, the for TV sure. The TV and the BPC. For sure. Certain stuff goes great together, like it was Titan stuff. Yeah. Like it's not quote-unquote supposed to be put together, but, yeah. I mean, Hercules, the ECA, like certain oh, stuff yeah. just goes together. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, so we talked about the Super Bowl, and it's crazy. Crazy Freak, what's going on? How you doing? Um, so when we talked about the Super Bowl, the, the Bucks had made it here, so it's the first home team ever yeah. to be. I didn't know. That's yeah. crazy. That's crazy, right? Yeah. So what they said is, is the Bucks. We have the stadium and it's Pirates and stuff like that. Yeah. We have these cannons that get fired off. Yeah, they're not going to let us fire off the cannons. I think it's a good thing. 
Really? I, I honest. I love the cannons. I mean, it would get me amped. If I was in the game, I'd want to hear it, but yeah. it's way too much of a home advantage. Yeah. Yeah. You're already playing. You're already play, That's you're why all, they're not doing yeah, it. Yeah, you're already playing your home stadium. You're in your backyard. Yeah. You have, like, a majority of the fans. Yeah. And everything is comfortable. Yeah. And then now we're going to let you do your typical routine. <laughs> and fly. Now, that's too much. That's too much. So if they would have let him do it, then what would have happened? If they would have let him do it, yeah. they would have won. They would have said, Brady's a cheater. <laughs> they, they got <laughs> to fire the fans. It was an advantage. Like, no. <laughs> Uh, I, I definitely can see it from that that yeah. point, and uh, you know it, it's supposed to be neutral ground. Way yes. too much of an advantage. Yeah. It is. It's supposed to be neutral ground. But how cool would it have been? Yeah, it would have been cool. Yeah. It, I mean, because it's it just it's so it's 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 so like surreal that they are here yeah. in the backyard. You know, so they ain't got to travel, which is really yeah. nice. You know, they didn't have it, to quarantine, especially they're with their families and yep. everything. Like yep. it's. In Florida, our beautiful weather. And everything's was, open right now. We're just so spoiled. Though. We are. So we are. spoiled. It's just crazy. Yeah. So No cannons for us, though. In California. I know California Gold's Gym has tents and everything out there. Yeah. It, it looks like crazy Skid Row. Out there. Yeah. No, tents to work out. Like, the workout section is outside. They have, like, a big tarp. Yeah. And there's, like, <laughs> there's chain link fence that they put in. There's a big tarp and all the equipment's, like, outside. And then if you look right across the street, there's, like, a whole bunch of homeless people in yeah, tents. And everything. It looks it's bad. It's bad over it's there. Bad. Right yeah. Uh, yeah, so block the TV 500 and the BBC, you can do it in the same needle. Yes, absolutely. That's what I like to do. I would do it in the same needle. I have BB Pro. Alex, we got to see Alex, I think it was yesterday. Yeah, we got to see Alex. He works out at MI40. Okay. He just moved down here. Big shout out to him. He always puts in a lot of work. He said yeah. hi to us yesterday. And nice, like, really nice. cool dude. I'll probably see him in there. I'm kind of zoned out when yeah. I'm in. I go there early morning zone. Yeah, out he's, he's in the afternoon time, okay. I think. But really good dude. Big shout out to you, and hopefully uh, that pro debut goes real well. Nice. So, yeah, well, what category awesome. is he? Is it classic bodybuilding? I want to... Yeah, let us know. Let yeah, us know. Alex, let us know. I, I, I don't want to say the wrong class, but I think it was classic physique. Okay. Uh, you know? Because uh, yeah. I, I think in the, even in the picture he's got the board shorts on. Okay, that's physique. Yeah, yeah. Physique, physique, sorry. Yeah, physique. All right, so isn't the first Super Bowl ever played in the home... Yes, this is the first one. First one. Yeah, man. Callie, that is Cali for you, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Mama Mina, how you doing? All right, so next topic up. The drug cartel, so Mexico, the Sinaloa cartel, right? And these guys are pretty serious. Yeah. Um, they're getting away from the cocaine. Well, they're not getting away from it, but they're not putting all their eggs in one basket, per se, in cocaine. Uh, they're getting into fentanyl, and they're betting the house on fentanyl because the addictive properties of fentanyl and the, the, the demand for it in the United States right now, which is just ridiculous because it's, it's yeah. a super, super hardcore drug. Yeah, it's like highly addictive and it could kill you I mean, real it's quick. It's basically like an opiate time. It's it's because you have like heroin and then you have like opiates, which is kind of like the same thing. Yep. And they have like fentanyl, which is like times fifty of heroin. And there's even something else past fentanyl. I forget the name of it. It's like ten times stronger than fentanyl. Wow. But I mean, it's getting it's getting bad. Like the opiate. First it was like the crack, then the yep. then the co cocaine, then the crack, then the opiate thing, yep. and then oh, and then now this, and then this, and the stuff with this is like. This is the type of stuff where if you just take it one time, you die. Yeah. And if it's like, yeah, it, it's 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 so you small. You don't need much. Yeah, it's so small because I know on the news a couple of years ago they were saying that like a grain of salt over what it's supposed to be could kill you. Yes. So I mean, if people are just kind of like you know, oh, yes. this would be enough here, take this, and then they die. Yep. And what's crazy too is if you read about this, you could actually read about this. People were asking for the one that's killing people. I know. That, yeah, they're like, "Oh, this is yeah. the one that killed someone." Yeah, that's the I one. I want that one. I want that one. Like, what is going serious? on? That's you guys hear crazy. About Floyd Mayweather's ex-girlfriend died of fentanyl. No. Mm -mm. Yeah, she just woke up one day in the morning apparently and just decided to have uh, hit a fentanyl. Some in the fentanyl. Car. And uh, yeah, if it's one little, one it, little too much, it's, it's over. Too much, with. It's over. With. It's, it's over. I mean, with. It's like I, I thought. It seems like these drugs are just getting stronger and oh, stronger yeah. and stronger. Like oh, meth yeah. was like so bad, and then now it's like fentanyl and it's fentanyl, something else. Dude, I mean, it's just it's crazy. And once you synthesize things, you can get them. It's just you can get them even yeah. worse per se. Yeah, it's going to be destroying a lot of so, a lot of a lot of. A lot it of sucks, stuff. man. It sucks. But that's what these guys are doing, big time. You know, El Chapo was uh, the big guy in the Sinaloa cartel. Mm -hmm. That dude escaped from so many prisons and everything yeah, like that. Yeah. Nuts. He had he had like a. Uh, Electricity and air conditioning with railroad tracks yeah. and everything on the tunnels. Yeah. Yeah. What up, Antonio? Big shot to Antonio. What's up, Tony? Yeah. With his son. He took the picture right in front of the White House. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. So, Apple VR headsets are $3,000. That's what they're talking about. $1,000 and $3,000. 
Um, and basically their displays are in 8K, so they're gonna have 12 different cameras on these things. So these VR headsets, so the Oculus is out right now. That's the big one. Facebook owns that one. It's a really, really cool VR. It, it really is. Like, I know Art's got the newest one out, and we I got the other one for my son, but it's, it's ridiculous, yeah. dude. But Apple is going to bring something out. I guess it's really going to change the game here. Mm. So we'll see. I mean, this thing, 3000 bucks is a lot of money. The Oculus is cheap. Two ninety nine. Yeah. You can get a headset from, from Oculus, and that thing is ridiculous. So Now, are these waterproof and everything no. like that? Or no. No, no. no, they're just high-tech as heck. So yeah. you're paying 3000 and it's not waterproof? Yeah. If I'm paying 3000 I want to be able to put it on and, like, yeah. like run in the rain. Yeah, right. <laughs> and have, like, a virtual, like, jungle of running it's, through like, it's, I don't know. it's supposed to be pretty pretty crazy so, so i wouldn't mind getting like the 300 dollars one just to watch movies and stuff on oh, planes or just laying in bed yeah. like you yeah. know just yeah. oh the games are on it cool yeah. the oculus is ridiculous like yeah. literally you play as like darth vader or against them with sabers and it's, it's legit dude like it's virtual it, everything though. it's Bro, if legit you want to sit in your bed and look at an 80 foot screen you can just, it, it's you know. cool yeah. really cool stuff you know vr is definitely going to be taking over and before it was Heavy headsets are very expensive headsets and stuff like that. Now, can you sync these? Like, say if me or you were sitting, me or you both had yes. one, we could both watch the same yes. thing sitting yeah. by side. You, you could even look over and he'll be in the, in the seat beside you. Like yeah. a little avatar person. Oh, it's yeah. crazy. That'd be, that'd be good to Isn't do. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that'd so, be good. So, yeah, so they're, they're not headphones. It, it's actually a VR headset. So the headphones that, that came out, so they, they made the, the ones that kind of look like Beats. Mm. Um, the white ones. Air, Air Max Pros or whatever the hell they're mm. called. Those things are six hundred bucks. Have, has anyone heard how those sound yet? No. Do they have them at the Apple Store? Well, yes. We can't really yes. Do. I want to see how they sound. But for me, it was like you know, like even six hundred bucks for them things. I yeah. mean, they better sound really good. Yeah. And even at that point, like you know, and I like paying for 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 quality, I guess. But I, I just don't know. We'll see. see Apple makes the, a good product. I would never pay like hundreds of dollars for like in ear ones. Yeah. Like AirPods, like two hundred bucks maybe. I'm not gonna pay yeah. like five hundred. Yeah. But for those Apple ones, like I don't know, like yeah, I don't know. Because Beats, product. I feel like Beats are worth it. And Beats are like three eighty. Really? You know, the Studio Twos were three eighty. Wow. The Studio Threes or whatever, okay. three eighty. Hmm. So I mean, like the over ear ones, not the ones that go in. Like the yeah. over ear, like they're like three eighty. So the taxes make it like four hundred. Okay. So, so I, mean, I guess Apple's not too far away then. Because if you went. I don't know if you've used those before, but using those, like it's not only does it silence out everybody else, they're so comfortable to wear. So comfortable to wear. So yeah, so if, if you're thinking about a VR headset, check out the Oculus. But this Apple one's supposed to be out by next year. And at that point, you know, we'll see how these things are. And they're supposed to be ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, like I said, for three thousand bucks you're not gonna get a whole bunch of people. No, to I'm buy not them. paying three, but I don't care if someone gives me a three thousand dollar gift card for it. I'm not gonna do <laughs> <laughs> so we will definitely see. So it's gonna be on. Um, all right. So, do you guys got any plans for this Fourth of July or not Fourth of July? Fourth of July. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready for the summer, the, right? Exactly. I'm ready so, to go back out in that sun. Super Bowl weekend. Yeah. So, what do you guys got planned for Super Bowl weekend? Anything big planned? I mean, I know you guys are probably in different states. So at that point, your COVID restrictions might be there or somebody, somebody yeah what house. can you guys do out there what it's, states are you i mean the bars open they have any like open place you can go watch it or how's yeah. it work here everything's open yeah clubs are open bars yeah. are open events are open yeah. obviously the super bowl's here so you know the dumb thing is is though is so we're, we're wide open here right and our masks usually have just wearing business and stuff like that now the mayor she signed an executive order where you have to wear the mask outside in some place of downtown now oh wow like outside the experience, the football experience, right, like right. Riverwalk, like they have like these things like mandatory outs outdoor, like you're outdoor, like yeah, I see, you know, I see, a, I see a bunch. There's cops on bikes and cops on uh, scooters everywhere down there. Yeah, like all over the place. So, I mean, they're the probably police in mass, that. man. Come yeah. on. But they gotta be too, though, with all yeah. the crazy stuff going on, all the riots, and I mean, they gotta have that yeah, stuff down for there. Sure. Like, I don't, I don't. It doesn't bother me there, there. Yeah. You know, but you see them all over the place, probably enforcing the mass stuff and. Icebox, what's control. going on? Dada French, how you doing? Christian Ortiz, what's going down? Thank you guys for all joining us for Titan Lifestyle with Big Drew. Uh, tonight we've got our first event I think that we're going to be a part of. Yeah. It's Super Global Party. Rick Craziness. Ross, 2 Chains, Jack Harlow. Yeah, craziness. About I'm to I'm do it up. I got the chain for 2 Chains. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be crazy. Jack Harlow, Rick Ross. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. 2 Chains, probably other huge, huge venues. Celebrities. Venue too. 
Dallas Bowl is huge. I think yeah. it's like 30,000 square feet. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. So if you guys are in town, this is the place to be. If you guys can get a ticket, I don't know if they're sold out or what yet. Yeah. So the dance floor alone there is like 2,800 square feet. Just the dance floor. It's going to be nuts. It's huge. So at that point, come see us. Say hi. Take a picture. Yeah. Mark's going to be down there. He's going to be taking plenty of video and photos of us tonight. It's going to be on. It's going to be popping. So if not, we'll we'll, we'll make a, a video of the night, show you guys kind of what's going on in Titan Lifestyle Land with us the Friday before Super Bowl. So it's going to be on. It's definitely going to be on. Yeah. Guys have got to be safe this weekend. Yes. Got to be safe. Yes. Everyone's out there. Everyone's drinking. Everyone's going crazy. I mean. No matter where you're at. Be safe. Be no safe matter where you're at. Um, I'm still going to give away this table. So we got a Lux Lingerie fashion show on Saturday. Now that's going to be a very upscale lingerie fashion show. Um, we did one last year. It was out water outside. Yeah. Yeah. This one's inside at the Florida Social Club. Um, Will might be there or not. But Titan has a table there. For a VIP table. So if you guys want to come, show up. Come check it out. Max Vangel Lee is going to be playing there. He's an EDM DJ. He was uh, he played after Carnage on New Year's. That yeah. white dude. The Carnage is in town too. For Carnage the in weekend. town. He's going to be playing again. Yeah. So there's a lot of things going yeah. on. It's going to be crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, all right. So Key West Car Show is next weekend. So at that point, the Key West Car Show, obviously Key West is on restriction of some sort. And they're moving it here to Clearwater at Forza. It's a high-performance car shop. Uh, these guys do everything. It was just crazy stuff. So we're going to bring the fleet out there, go hang out for a little bit. So come join us if you're in town. 221, Festival of Speed, St. Pete, Vinoy Park. It's going to be awesome. We always have a good time there. Last year was a blast. Hundreds of cars. Too. Oh, man. Hundreds exotics. Like, yeah. all kinds of exotics. If you exotics. think you have an exotic, you bring it there, and it's going to be like... <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody thinks they have a good car until they go there. Yep. And they're like, oh, yeah. 314, Festival Speed again. We're going to be in Orlando. It's Carlton. So it's always a good time. We always have a good time in Orlando. Always good. Always cars. Yeah. Always champagne, cars, and sunshine. Yes. That yes. That's, that's and five <laughs> times out of ten, it's in Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> we always have a blast doing that out in Orlando. Yeah. Even that show, even the other shows that we do. So get ready because Orlando is going to be a, a happening place again, especially yep. for Titan. Um, that's it, guys. So. We're going to enjoy our Super Bowl weekend. We're going to get started here. We're going to go relax a little bit. You know, do some little bit more work. And uh, at that point, we're going to hang out and have a good time tonight. So we might go live. Stay tuned to social media. If not, we share a lot of stuff on the stories. Uh, and then we'll have some some overall videos uh, yeah. for you guys next week if you guys didn't get to tune in. Yeah, it's going to be like the hangover movie when you check out the footage from tonight. <laughs> it's going to be a good night. Make sure you guys tune in every every week, Friday, 2 p.m., right here at Titan Lifestyle. Yep. John has his show on Tuesdays. That's Titan Talk. Check out the show on ABC's on Sunday. And that's what we do every and single week. Every week we're coming at you guys, bringing you guys all the greatest topics, answering all you guys' questions. We appreciate you guys tuning in. We'll see you guys next Friday. Titan Lifestyle with Big Drew. That's it. Stay safe, guys. Later, guys.